Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Lyle and I practice obstetrics and gynecology. And yes, a patient is a person, no matter how small. Today's topic, the homunculus. Well, what is a homunculus? Well, literally translated, homunculus means little man. And the prominent scientific theory between the 16th and 18th centuries regarding where do babies come from was the homunculus theory. And this theory was that inside of the sperm was a fully developed but teeny, teeny, tiny man inside of that sperm. And some theorists said that, well, inside of every egg is a teeny, teeny, tiny girl. And that the act of conception just allowed this fully formed but teeny, teeny, tiny human to grow and to develop into a baby boy or into a baby girl. In fact, some of these scientists said that inside of this tiny homunculus is another tiny homunculus, which inside of this tiny homunculus is another tiny homunculus, and it just goes on forever. Tiny inside of tiny inside of tiny. Were they wrong? Of course, they were very wrong. Who got it right? Thousands of years prior to the homunculus theory, the psalmist David, King David, got it right. When in Psalm 139 verse 13, the psalmist said, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. He got it exactly right. The DNA from one sperm and the DNA from one egg joined together at that moment of conception and then cell division starts. You have one cell, then you have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and then they divide with cell differentiation where the spine is formed, the heart is formed, the blood vessels are formed, the muscles are formed, the neuro neurologic system, the brain is formed. Literally, we are knit together in our mother's womb. The psalmist got it right, and it is an absolute miracle that when we are created in the image of God with the DNA from just one cell from the mom and one cell from the dad, we are knit together. We are not a completely formed human that is sitting there as a homunculus. God is correct. God is the creator. And David got it right. God bless you all and have a great day.